What's going on YouTube? It's your boy KJ De Niro, and I got a cool vlog for y'all. So in this video is like me putting together like all the footage I got of the final two weeks of my internship. And some of y'all may know, you feel me, that I did have a media slash photography slash videography uh, internship. So this is just the footage from that. It's over with now. I done completed the course or the class, graduated, you feel me, passed um and got paid you feel me um yeah so we just gonna hop right into it i just want y'all to see like what i was doing for the, the final two weeks you feel me of my class and yeah that's all i got to say <laughs> we in it what, is he, what he's doing so i haven't seen this video he just dropped it today in the morning this is my homie um if y'all haven't made youtube videos regarding like media i would love to start doing these video uh when i do more classes in the future mm -hmm. like i definitely want to show them to a lot of the interns too. But um yeah. Just watch it real quick. This is my first time again. I feel like it's gonna be <laughs> Is that too loud? Yeah. yeah. Where's the where's the connection? Oh I'm not sorry, No 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 no. Which came first? You wanna shoot a concert show, but you can't get working music if you don't have a portfolio. So then how do you build a portfolio if you can't get work in the first place? I'm going to be helping you with exactly that by giving you three things that you need in order to get started, and then three of the easiest ways that you can build a portfolio without any experience. The first thing that you'll need is obviously a camera, and contrary to what you might guess, I highly recommend using your phone. Phone cameras these days are more than sufficient, and if I'm being honest, you'll need to spend at least $1,500 or more on a camera that would give you better images than your phone could. There's a quote you've probably heard by Chase Jarvis, the best camera is the one that's with you. When I started out, this was exactly how I got my first gig. Uh, I was at this bar when a local artist was playing, and I decided to shoot a few clips on my iPhone 6S. I went back to my college dorm, cut together the edit, and sent it to them the next day. The artist loved it and asked if I could come back the next time they played. As I mentioned in my little story, the second thing that you'll need is some sort of editing software. For video, it could be programs like iMovie and Windows Movie Maker or apps like CapCut and InShot. For photo, programs like Lightroom and Adobe Express are amazing options, options for all mediums. Uh, and they offer discounts for students. So if you are a student, check to see uh, if you have access to any resources that your school already pays for. The third thing that you'll need before you can make money shooting shows and concerts and any other type of event is a platform from which you can copy and paste links to your work. This could be Instagram, Dropbox, Google Drive, a website, and even unlisted YouTube videos. You just need to make sure that when you reach out to someone through email or DM, that you can provide a link to your work. Oftentimes, potential clients will say something like, send me an example of your work, or send me a link to your best work. If you're unsure of how to reach out or what to say to someone that you'd like to work with, I have a template for emails and DMs in the description below. It's now time to dive into the three ways that you can build a portfolio without having any experience. Yep, okay, okay. You ready? I gotta get my man's to sign. You ready? Yeah, she's supposed to be reading it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right? I don't see any fire. Don't look at that. Alright, let me see. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I saw Did you know in the summer of 2020, during the Black Lives Matter protest, Mayor Lightfoot or Lori Lightfoot? It's too slow. It needs to be faster. Okay. Announced a new social media tag going by Chicago Police Department. A specialized 20 person hey, unit within the Crime okay. Prevention and Information Center focused on around the clock review of open source social media activity. Yeah. During an NPR interview, Desmond Patton, an associate professor of social work, said, We are creating a world where the things that we say and do online are hyper surveilled. They're hyper surveilled with vulnerable communities in particular. So you're from Chicago, I've seen you from Chicago. Do, do the rest like that. Black and Latino communities, and we're opening up a window of gross misinterpretation that can lead to mass incarceration. Patton's current research shows that oftentimes when artificial intelligence is oh, used shit, to monitor still... social media platforms such as Twitter and Facebook to surveil black speech, it may see text and automatically assume <laughs> that it is aggressive based on that speech and the words that might be surrounding it. Meaning, there leaves no room for context and comprehension of language. This shit is wrong. This is going swing. That shit is wrong. Yeah. You can get the cloud, which is like it includes all the 
all of the softwares, such as Find your local high school student. Or, yeah. uh, honestly, you don't even gotta do it. Just go and hey, go ask her. You're a student. Yes. Yes. Who said it? Don't ask me. No. Put your ID. Just yeah. an email. You don't okay. ask for no ID. Just ask for a school ID. I put my regular ID. Really? Yeah. I'm so I pay fifteen dollars for. She said life hack. I pay. I pay fifteen dollars for all of these. Damn. Yep. I think for because I find out that every time I try to cancel, because I was trying to like yeah, yeah. it would it would tell me don't leave, we'll offer you this. And yeah, that. That. Yeah. So they they one thing was like the yearly thing for me, and it was like a total of like fifteen dollars for a month. So again, I I get this for <laughs> get, uh, Illustrator, which is good for graphics, uh, InDesign, which is a uh, Basically, like uh, making like pamphlets. Um, you can do Lightroom, which is meant for photos. Uh, Premiere Rush, which is for your phone. Bridge, which is uh, to uh, store your assets. It's kind of similar to like a Finder. Uh, designing and developing uh, websites. Cool. And anime, oh, okay. to just animate stuff. Character animator is to make little animations. Like they're dedicated more to like human body, I think. Um, Audition, this is made for like audio, so this will come in and edit, uh, edit, edit audio for the podcast. Yep. Uh, dimension, this is uh, basically sort of like a 3D uh, design space. Uh, I have heard of this one. My XC is a million more. I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, I guess this is for writing. Um, and then we have like to make, as I call it, uh, Oh, by the way, you guys can either right click or click the uh, folder button. Uh, no item. I don't actually know how to do it. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. So the next folder I will create is uh, I will call it assets. So this is where I throw all my digital assets, such as um, overlays, sound design, effects, all that stuff. So that way, I want to keep it organized because then you know editors can find things easier. Sometimes I'll be working with audio, so I'll make a folder dedicated for audio. Um, sometimes I'll be working with photos. But for now, we're just gonna do assets. So when you say assets, like, uh, uh, assets are, are things that aren't in Premiere Pro, but things that you have already. Yeah, like PNGs, graphics. Yeah. So it's not, so it's things that, that's yours. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's not, not nothing, like effects, that, that would be for, you know, Premiere. But this is something I'll, I'll add to if I need to. Um, and then the next thing I do, I go through my footage. So let's go with Kennedy first. That's nice. Look at that. Shout out to my pro. What we call the source. In the source, this is a window where you can preview. It's not necessarily in the timeline. But in the source, you can do different things. You can mark it. So that way, if you need to, like, you know, mark certain parts where you're like, okay, I need that mark. You just press it, this is the little mark, add marker, or the shortcut is M. Um, notice a lot of the things that we put on here, when you leave it, it'll give you like a little letter next to it. That's because it's a key that you can use for a shortcut. So instead of using your mouse, you can always just kind of leave that. It says, what is that, O? Yeah. Can you change your key binds on here or no? Yeah, you can definitely uh, customize the, the key. Um, also, if you want to know what each key does, you can just go to File or Edit. Um, where's the file? Open production. Just be next to it. Go like markers right there. Oh, keyboard sh shortcuts. So you can click that. Uh, click, uh, click on that. It'll show you what each key does so it's like select camera one you know audio game match frame you know what i'm saying so way, so it could be a, at a point where like you're not even using the mouse you're just like typing um i like to do that you know you can also customize it it'll show you what is this key and then customize it you know selection tool maybe you want to switch it to a, a s so that way you remember ideally i wouldn't change it because we work with a lot of editors and it's the standard, so it's like we understand the language. It's like now, as others, we understand that, um, you know, maybe the Ripple 2 is a, is a B, so it's like, 
you know, that's the language that we understand. So I wouldn't really like change anything. Um, yeah. So it looks like with Kennedy, we are gonna use this. So what we do is we use it to like a little hand that's like, it looks like it's holding it. And then you drag it. When you drag it, you let it go. It'll add it. And then this is our main program. So this is the source and this is the program. Um, and this is the timeline. So now we can play. The Laza Database Project is an organization dedicated. Oh, and then we can cut. So the shortcut for cutting is a C. So it's like, you see that little razor? Um, and then you can boom, press it, cut it. Um, another way of cutting is Command K. So you just press it, select where you want to cut. Let's say I want to cut it. Before we cut, we gotta make sure that that blue line, <laughs> that blue line, is on the spot that you want to cut. So Command K will cut it, and you know that it cuts it because it made a line there, yeah. right? It separates it. Mm -hmm. So before we start cutting, though. One thing I want to bring out is the mics that we use, they are only one channel. So we have three mics in total. One is a receiver, one is a left channel, one is a right channel. Um, what that means is that it'll split the audio on um, two different sides so that way you can have two, two mics technically. Now, fill left with right or fill right with left. So in this case, we want to fill the right with left. So we drag this, everything is drag and drop. We want to drop it into the audio. Boom. So now when we play But it, the Raza database fact you know, is found from the year 2000 through to 2022. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a device. But usually what I like to do is I like to do a broadcast. And then I like to do the attack. These are numbers that I just go by. They're not really like numbers that I figured out, it's just the basics of what I know. But yeah, broadcast is like my little filter. And this is this is supposed to a multi-band compressor, you can just make one. But it's, it's supposed to lower down the high value and it's supposed to pick up the, the numbers that are too low so it balances it out. Um Is there um more than nine? And that's way too low. So I can control the game. Probably just a little bit negative vibe for you. Just, just a unspecified or unknown report to reported deaths at the hands of the U.S. law enforcement. So I would say your floor is too hot, bro. I feel like it's a TV because remember earlier the TV was hot, so it was hard. We also got to with your frame, frames, and it's just only one frame. And then these little frames, I'll just overexpose them. Overexpose them. Overexpose this one. Oh. I overexpose this one again. So now when I do that, this is what I had. Y'all ready? Yeah. To false reports of people. So now it's like a little lighting effect. It's like a photo shoot there. Man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's like in a video, if like you want to do like a BTS and oh, the flashes don't shoot. pop out. But the shot is so good, and you're like, damn, it would be great if we could have some strobe lighting. You can. To false reports. Yeah, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? That's tough as well. Hold on, so you, oh, you did that for You cut up our oh, oh, bad, bro. My, my mm -hmm. processing is slow. Presets. Presets are another way of like filters. So, presets, you, I, I usually go and do balanced background music, so that is telling that the music will be lowered down when the speaker is talking, so now if you can listen to it. Of the U.S. now. Even though of course they otherwise, people of color are mislabeled as people for other people in the court. I'm dead as well. So you ain't even got a you on a position. And then we bring it up. Fuck. I need to go free all off my cousins to get some problems. So now this is what we have. I'm dead. Uh, hold on, hold on. We gotta do a little bit more. <laughs> and then we'll have it come down. Oh shit, no, no. 
Is it a dub of a falls, a long enough of a falls? Oh, you're right. That is a good point. All right, see, let's see how it looks. Why are these people dying? <laughs> 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 Y'all still got them. Real crazy know. that they are normalized. <laughs> <laughs> why are you not and why are we being Take the uh audio the audio. Alright, let's see how we can get we can get her talking in like a shaggy voice Oh you're talking about switching the voice? Yeah. Nah, I, I'm, I'm sure there is. It's like AI. I've seen AI yeah, right. do that. Um But He said not I'm not a fan of this new transcribe because it transcribes everything. It takes way too long. Uh, um, so I'm just gonna do. What you say? Oh, I'm gonna do another podcast. Yeah. Piece. Yeah. So next time, the next one show up with like whatever fit you want to pull up with. Your best outfit, y'all. Yeah, get yeah, cozy. Take your best outfit. Get your hair and make it done. Yeah. Um, bro. Get some. Get some. Write down some knowledge that you want to spit for the uh, podcast and questions. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's what we'll do when we get here. Uh, following Monday. The first thing I'm gonna I'm leave is I'm gonna leave the equipment. Today is like the last day of my internship. So it's kind of like sad, you feel me? I got that shit on, you feel me? Car hard jacket. Y'all gotta see my whole outfit though. But anyway, it's my last day of my internship. I'm kind of sad. Because I really enjoyed these past eight weeks, you know what I mean? Like soaking up the game and just learning as much as I did, you feel me? I really, really enjoyed this shit. So, um, yeah, it's the last day. And like we supposed to be doing podcasting, so y'all already know I'm a vlog, and then shit, I'm just gonna like take y'all through my day to day as the you know my last day in my internship. But all right, y'all. <laughs> Great job. Hey, so you gonna have to uh, send me the the joints of every not everything you got, but shit, the ones that just be. Yeah, I know, I know you got hella stuff. Bro. Yeah, hell yeah. I got you for sure. I gotta uh, find a way to get all that footage off that camcorder though. I got hella I shit on. Yeah, hell yeah. Hey, Jay, you want to edit too much. So. It's really, really simple. Have y'all worked with audio, like an audio mixer before? No. Can we do it here? Yeah. So I'm not that's an audio mixer over there. I'm not really about the thing right here. Yeah. yeah. So you plug in the, uh, the uh, mic. The and this is the same thing, just for video. So we plug it into a, um, input one. Input two. Input two, exactly. Input, input three. Do y'all do y'all know why we call it input though? Mm-hmm. Because you're putting it in. You got to put a man right way too, though. So the video going in, and then it has an output. This is where I can see the video. Um, Are you going to put it on the output? Like, into what? Uh, into a output. monitor so I can see it. Oh, bro. And then the other thing is just plug it in here uh, for power. You should go here, and I plug it in a hard drive. Do y'all know what a hard drive is? Yeah. 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 It's like an SD card. It's as simple as that, bro. Right. Simple as that. You can oh, produce a hard drive. And let me tell y'all this, too. Right. You don't have to edit, which costs uh, cut the cost of production. So you can go out and tell a client, I'm gonna charge you three thousand dollars for this shit. Yeah. You you ever heard of Debo? Debo, Debo, the one that comes around up on the bike. <laughs> I'm dead as hell. <laughs> So this is the end of the video. Um, huge shout out to Transcend, you feel me, for having the internship. Shout out to Nick, Tay, um, Kennedy, Yessi, Sophie, 
Afro, uh, Allen. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. Shit, just everybody that was in my internship. You feel me? Like, if I'm missing some names, I'm sorry. You feel me? You know, it's all love. But man, huge uh, shout out go to them, man. Like, for real, for real. Um, yeah, man. End of my internship. I'm happy I connected with like like-minded people. Like I said, because I, I be needing that. Like personally, like I be needing to be around like people who are on the same type of like frequency I'm on. Not just like, of course, like we working towards the same shit, but like up here though too. Like you know what I mean? Um, yeah, bro. So I got more videos coming out. This is probably gonna drop very very soon within like the next day or two. I know I'm saying that. Like y'all gonna see this? Like oh y'all gonna see this today or something? <laughs> Dumb as hell. But yeah, I got some old content dropping soon. I got a um, I got a video with me and Daniel at the studio, and I had went to uh, Marco Stats, his uh, Uptown Blues album release party. So that's gonna be one video too. And then shit, y'all already know I'm I'm gonna get back to my daily vlogs or like me just vlogging my life and stuff. Like that's not this, but you know. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, man. I don't really got nothing else to say. I'll just catch y'all on the flip side. Peace out.